So I'm standing here in front of the City Hall in Sims, Alabama. As you can tell, they are still doing some construction and we are right across the street from some nurseries, which by the way, Sims, Alabama is known for that. And in this video, we're gonna talk about all those details as well as feature an incredible house with over two acres, over 5,500 square feet, and an amazing workshop that is a mechanic's dream. So let's dive in. So before we get started on the video, I do want to say I'm wearing this jacket and the reason why is so I can block this microphone because it's rather windy and let me tell you exactly what temperature we're dealing with. What's the temperature right now? It's 55 degrees outside. Okay, so 55 is not that cold, but hey, us down here in Mobile and Sims in the Deep South, we're not used to cold weather, so that's why I've got my jacket on. But I'm standing here in front of this government building that they're just now finishing. And if you'll look over here, you'll see that this is like the nursery capital of the South. Now check this out. When you're driving through Sims, you're going to see this everywhere. There are azalea festivals. I mean, there are all sorts of things, camellias, um, because this is what this area is known for. But they're also known for some incredible houses. And we're going to take you on a tour of my newest listing that is absolutely breathtaking. But just so you know, my name's Jeff Jones with Keller Williams. I actually live in the city of Mobile, Alabama. I've lived there my entire life. And my favorite thing is when the phone rings and I look down, it's a number I don't recognize. Now I want to talk about something. I've heard some messages from people that said, let me protect the microphone, that have said, you know, I don't want to call. I just think you're too busy. That is never the case. I'm never too busy to answer your call, text message, or email. So be sure to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you. But don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always dropping new videos and I cannot wait to share the next one. So this neighborhood we're driving through now, uh, it's actually within walking distance of the high school. That's Mary G. Montgomery High School in Sims. Uh, this neighborhood is priced probably, I guess on the low end, about 240, then on the high end, probably around three, maybe approaching 400. But the reason I wanna drive through here and show you this is we're also gonna drive through an area of town that uh, has a lot more space. So a lot more breathing room between houses and a lot of people come to Sims for that reason. They want a little more space. So we're gonna drive down an area called Ellen Drive coming up shortly. But I wanted to show you uh, what you can get for around that $300,000 mark. And we'll give you a couple of different options, but this is walking distance uh, from Mary G. Montgomery. It's also super close to the Yellowhammer Coffee uh, permanent trailer location. And then also Sims House of Pizza, which I've talked about in other videos. But well, this should give you an idea. So in Sims, we're in an area, this is Ellen Drive. And I mentioned some houses that were in the million dollar range. Well, this place has some huge houses with a lot of land. And a lot of these houses are gonna have workshops, they're gonna have barns, barn dominiums out back. So a lot of um, really great properties. And like I always say, I mean, folks are moving out here for the space. So just take a look around and enjoy the scenery. It is awesome. One of the things about living in Sims or living out a little bit is often um, your garbage, that's not included with property tax, you're going to have to do private uh, garbage companies and McDuffie Sanitation, that garbage can right there, and I'm driving through, I'm seeing multiple uh, houses that have their service, uh, they're actually based out of Sims. So great company, I know the owner, I know his family, and they truly do a great job. It's not very expensive. I can't give you an exact price, but I want to say it's somewhere in between like 25 and 30 something dollars a month, usually picks up twice a week. Uh, but also like for a uh, sewer, well, in places like this, you're often gonna have a septic tank. Now don't let that scare you. Again, you know, folks from out of town, they don't quite understand septic tanks. I will tell you, I lived with a septic tank for about 10 years. I never had one problem. You just get it cleaned out every three to five years, about 350 bucks. Uh, but other than that, everything works great. So this is a great area. 
Um, Ellen Drive, uh, House Ferry Road, all of this out here, people come here because they want some space between them and their neighbors. Okay, so before we go inside this house, I'm gonna spruce up a little bit, change my clothes. I wanted to give you a view of the outside approaching this incredible house. Now, even out in Sims, they celebrate Mardi Gras and they've got a parade, they've got some details. Uh, you can tell that people really get into Mardi Gras out here, but this property, it's right off of uh, Howells Ferry Road, uh, just on the other side of Ellen Drive, a long driveway, and this, you know, oak trees, it's really beautiful. But this is a beautiful area, and I cannot wait for you to see the inside, so let's check it out. This home in Sims, Alabama is absolutely massive on over 2.3 acres. We're going to take a look inside and show you what this home has to offer. But let me tell you, the backyard, it also has an incredible three-bay garage. Well, you've got to see it. Let's go. This beautiful southern creole design, of course, is going to have split brick flooring in the foyer. And off of the foyer, you've got a dedicated office with these incredible built-ins. And then on the other side, you've got a huge dining room that currently, well, it seats eight, but I think it'll probably go to 10. But you won't believe the kitchen, so let's check that out. So when I think of a massive kitchen, well, this is it. Of course, you've got ample space for everybody to sit around the bar. Then you've got more space behind you where you can display your dishes. You've got the white cabinets. You've got granite countertops, the stone backsplash, and of course, the stainless appliances. But then you've got an eat-in kitchen. Then you've got your laundry space over here. And then behind this wall, well, this is the family room. And it is huge with a very tall ceiling that gives you a grand atmosphere that you're absolutely going to love. One of my favorite features of this family room is the beautiful uh, brick fireplace. You've got your gas logs, built-ins on either side. A beautiful staircase, of course, but right off of the family room, you've got doors that walk out into this incredible covered back porch. And the backyard, well, I've been told a time or two that it's very common to see deer in the backyard. Maybe we'll catch some. So when you walk down the hall from the family room, you come into this incredible uh, owner suite, okay? Now here's the thing. I looked at this and I thought, wait a minute, what's going on here? And then it clicked. These are built-in chest of drawers. Uh, or as I used to call it, Chester drawers when I was a kid. But how cool is that to not have to have furniture that just uh, you know, makes the room too busy? So you've got this built in, and of course you've got your television here. But the great part about this room is the owner's bathroom. Well, there's something very, very special inside. So let's go in. The owner's bathroom was just updated, and I know you can tell. You've got the double vanity, a massive mirror, and I was just told that behind this cabinet and that cabinet, they've installed electrical outlets so you can leave items plugged in like a beard trimmer or a hair dryer, you know, a straightener, all those things can be plugged in there so you don't have cables all over the counter. Uh, you also have a double shower. You've got separate closets on each side. And then, you know how men, when you're out in public, of course, you can go to a restroom and use a urinal? Well, these folks decided, hey, let's put that in our house. One of the biggest requests I get when I work with buyers or we've got to have like an in-law suite or a private area for a teenager. Uh, well, this house has it. It's on the bottom floor. You've got this good size living area. And then over here, you've got a, a good size bedroom with a big walk-in closet, a dedicated bathroom, and the shower has a low level of entry. So there are no worries in that department. Not only does this house have five bedrooms, but it also has a bonus room above the three car garage. And of course, they've got an incredible movie collection with a huge television, plenty of space for sofas, um, a place to play games. Then they've got this other section where they've got this cool 50s diner vibe going, a closet, um, another office space, and a full bathroom. All upstairs, it's private. You can come in through the garage and not disturb a soul. So as we walk up the stairs, now upstairs there are three bedrooms. Now all three are really large. This is really nice plush carpet. You've got closet space over there. You've got another closet here. And each bedroom, like I mentioned, is really big. But the great part is the two bedrooms on this side, they share a bathroom. So let's take a look. So this is the dedicated bathroom space for that bedroom. And of course, you've got lots of closet space here. You've got a window out to the front. And then this is the part that is shared. Did I mention closet space? You've got more here. You've got a huge space here that could almost be used as like an office. And then you've got this big walk-in shower, again, with the low entry. And we go into the other space. 
Now this vanity is for the second bedroom upstairs. B plenty of room, you've got more closet space behind you. We go in here, again, really nice plush carpet, more closet space there, another window, and then you've got access to attic space, and then we go into bedroom number three. Now bedroom number three, it's almost like another owner's suite upstairs or like another in-law suite. Of course, beautiful plush carpet. You've got a big walk-in closet, more closet space on that side, a window into the backyard. You've got built-ins, and then this bathroom has a huge L-shaped counter that has more space than you could ever dream of. Well, we're outside now. You hear that noise? Can you imagine listening to that in your own backyard, your own private retreat in Sims, Alabama? Well, it's really something special, but there's a lot more. So you continue walking down the sidewalk and you look at this really amazing garage slash workshop. You've got this huge carport section, a three bay garage, and then as we go into the workshop, well, we've got a lift, more storage space than you could ever imagine. It's got foam insulation, and this is the place where not only can you work on cars, uh, but just about any project you could imagine. So this is it, your own piece of paradise in Sims, Alabama. You know, this house is truly something special. I'm sure you can tell by looking at all the rooms, all the spaces, you know, from the bonus room above the garage to the workspace in the backyard. I mean, this place is incredible. So I know it's gonna find a new buyer very soon, and these sellers, well, they're gonna be sad to see this place go, but they're turning the page, moving on to other things. I can't wait to see what the buyer does with their new home. And that's it, folks. I wanted to give you an overview of what it's like to live in Sims, Alabama. Well, this house is pretty incredible. But hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're always dropping new videos, but also two additional things. Look up the podcast, Living in Mobile, Alabama. It's got some great content where I'm interviewing different guests who have an incredible story about living in Mobile, and the link will be below. But also, check out the other link. It's a city guide that you can download from the Mobile Chamber of Commerce, all things that have to do with living in Mobile, Alabama. I can't wait for you to check that out. But don't forget, shoot me a message, an email, call me, any way I can help you. I'll be happy to help, and I can't wait for the next video.